Let's talk about file systems and partitions and adding disk drives to the computer. When you open up a disk drive and it comes right out of the box, uh, in order to use it, you have to do two things. First of all, you have to partition that drive and you have to create a partition table so that the computer knows where that particular partition that you've created starts and ends. And then within that partition, you have to create a file system table or a file system so that your computer knows where files on that disk both start and end. So let's do this virtually. We can add a hard drive. I'm going to choose settings. We're going to pick a fresh Ubuntu machine here. Inside a virtual box, I'm going to choose settings. Let's go to storage. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to choose. You can see here we have our primary um, hard drive here. And so I can click on this SATA controller for this hard drive. Probably the easiest thing to do. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add a hard disk. And we're going to go ahead and create one. We're going to create a virtual blank hard disk. And in this case, a virtual hard disk for VirtualBox will have a VDI extension. We're essentially going to create a file on the computer that represents a hard drive. Uh, we can do dynamically allocated or fixed size. Uh, in the case of VirtualBox, dynamically allocated makes sense. It expands as you need data. We're going to choose the size here. So um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. Give it approximately 20 gigabytes. That'll give us enough to where we can um, demonstrate some of these things. And you want to take note of the folder where this VDI file is located. There we go. So now we've created a VDI file and it has been attached to the computer. This is the equivalent of taking, for example, a SATA drive, plugging it into the computer, then uh, after we turn it on, the motherboard is gonna recognize that and the computer will then have the ability to work with that hard drive. So this is uh, Ubuntu, so I'm gonna click OK. Let's go ahead and start the system. I'm gonna pause. The next time you see me, I will be logged in with a command prompt. While that's booting up, let's go ahead, if you're in my class, we're going to create a notes document here. We'll be checking for this. You can see I've already entered the first thing that we're going to do. If you want to type that, DF reports file system and disk usage. That'll be the first thing we'll be doing. There's going to be a whole lot in terms of the file system and partition management here. So it's going to be, it's going to be helpful if we uh, sort of jot it all down. And again, if you're in my class, we'll be checking for this. So here I am inside of VirtualBox. And the first command we'll type, what we saw in the notes was DF. And this is going to report on your disk usage. It's going to tell you where your file systems are. Now, with Linux, many times the devices are going to be labeled with SDA. So that would be the block device. And there will be different partitions that are numbered depending on what the block device is called. It may be SDB, SDC. Uh, it could be labeled a number of different ways. But in this case, I can see that I have a block device called SDA. And we have the fifth partition area which has been mounted here as the root of the file system. So that CD slash that we have been using is uh, at the very base of dev SDA5 or the fifth partition. And we're gonna look at this graphically and we'll talk about what a partition is and how it's set up. We have various loop devices. These are sort of internal virtual devices. These aren't physical devices that are mounted in different places. So I could CD into snap core 18, 1800. And uh, that's sort of a, 
a virtual device that's been created here by Ubuntu. I can see that on dev SDA1, the first partition on the SDA device, that's mounted on boot EFI. And some of these numbers are kind of hard to interpret. We don't know what the unit of measurement is. Well, we have 1K blocks here. Um, but I can do a DF, and I'll go ahead and put a hyphen AH, and that H means human readable. I'm going to clear that, and we'll do it. DF, AH, and we also get a sense. So by putting the A, we're getting a lot more file systems. I'm going to scroll up here, and that dev SDA5 is really the one we're concerned with. That is the first hard drive. This is not the second hard drive that we added to the system. Um, we don't even see that second hard drive here right now because our computer is not using that second hard drive that we just created. So it's not listed here. These are only file systems that are in use. Anyway, by adding the hyphen H, I can see that this has 69 gigabytes. Uh, we're using 7.2 gigabytes and there are 58 gigabytes free. As we look through and we look at that boot EFI, we can see that this has 511 megabytes. It's only using 4K, and because of the type of file system, that's probably a pretty darn near empty folder there with most of that partition available to us. Okay, so uh, if we have it, um, that hard drive added, and we've added the DF command to our notes, we'll move on in the next video.